Hello everybody, my name's Ryan. Um, very quickly, we're just going to go through this. So E3 is underway, Microsoft have just had their press conference, or it's still going on as I'm recording this. Um, and Phil Spencer has just done the biggest, like, middle finger to Sony ever um, by quickly announcing the Xbox One gets backwards compatibility. Uh, Microsoft takes shots at Sony. So I'm on quite a few different websites. I've got IGN up here, and this is Kodaku.com. Um, so, reading here, uh, Xbox Phil Spencer just announced that Xbox One is getting the full backwards compatibility with 360 games later this year, um, <laughs> which is pretty damn cool. Uh, you'll be able to access your digital collection of 360 games on Xbox One, so that basically means any games you've had on Xbox 360 that you have downloaded, you'll be able to go to your Xbox One and re-download them again, and it will, won't cost you anything extra. Um, as well as put in the discs, uh, um, da, da, da. this service will be available to everyone this holiday season. So that's end of this year for people in the UK because we don't say holiday season because that just sounds silly. Um, <laughs> uh, not all games will work with the service. So it's not ev everything. So I imagine really older games won't be uh, compatible and things like that. Um, but if you went to quickly go to IGN... Um, during the announcement, they were showing Mass Effect, um, which is, I, I quickly Google uh, when Mass Effect came out. Now, do you like my uh, uh, Mass Effect? I'll just Mass Effect. Do you like my Google homepage? Uh, release date. So, no, not Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect 1. I'll go to Wiki. Uh, so Mass Effect came out in 2007 so that's just showing so like anything from 2007 I imagine will work apart from uh, huge AAA titles will work so I imagine all the Call of Duties uh, Halos uh, more than likely Gears of War maybe not Gears 1 because I know there's a HD remaster coming anyway um, but huge things like that will more than likely work um, uh, let's read on a little bit shall we uh, Microsoft said around 100 uh, titles will be available when it launches, uh, but during the conference they brought up Mass Effect as an, oh, as an example of other 360 you'll be able to play blah blah blah. Uh, this is a huge move from Microsoft, especially compared to Sony's lackluster and pricey PlayStation Now service. Uh, as they pointed out with a Greek singer, we won't charge you to pay the games you already own, which is just sort of like the biggest middle finger to Sony. Um, Yes, I'm being a bit biased, but I've been an Xbox boy since dawn of time. Um, so, yes, it's unbelievable. It's pretty cool. Um, so, that was just a really quick update. Um, I'll try and keep you updated, like I said, throughout the day um, with E3 coverage. Anything, uh, just bearing in mind, I do have work tomorrow. So, it's going to be a bit hard for me to cover some things. But any huge things that I think are important, I will try and cover. Uh, this is massive, so... Yeah, like the video if you enjoyed, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, be sure to subscribe for more E3 stuff. I can't stress this enough. I'm going to try and do my best to cover as much as I can. So, cheers for watching, guys. Ta-da!